Let's compare the brand brand new nerfed Jack Outlaw with the brand new Jack Outlaw that was released last week. Let's start with damage. The upper torso used to be a one-shot kill. Now it's been nerfed. It is not a one-shot kill anymore. Lower torso, pretty much the same. Upper legs, pretty much the same. Target flinch has been buffed slightly. Thank heavens for small favors. Let's move over to range. Nothing really changed there except for bullet velocity. It's still very, very quick at 985 meters per second. The fire rate has been buffed slightly, which really doesn't help a lot because rechambering is 266 milliseconds. So you have to ask somebody to stand by, don't shoot while you reload if you miss a shot. Recoil control is the same. Accuracy, bit of a difference here. Uh, flinch resistance now is nerfed to 0.54 newtons, almost uh, two and a half times worse than it was before. Moving on over to mobility, the only thing that has changed is a slight nerf to the ADS speed, and I don't think that will be noticeable. So let's take this thing on the field of honor and see what happens. Free for all on rust. Good test, there's a hit marker already. Good test of the range. A couple, another hit marker. <laughs> that guy's poking his head out. And he's aimed downside. Anybody in his vision's dead. It just killed a tree. Okay. That was just for fun. All right, let's go to Mercado and try an entire free-for-all. Still a good headshot weapon. Oh, that guy will never reproduce. I like the bullet velocity. I like the power of the headshot. It's just I don't like if you get anywhere below the neck. Ooh, here he is. If you get below the neck, it's going to take another shot and it's going to take close to 300 milliseconds there's the tree again 300 milliseconds to rechamber around in which case you're awaiting your respawn this guy's jumping in front of me after taking a a nap on the cobblestones the obligatory knifer and you can see that was a hit marker there and that was a very high hit marker and in the time it took to pull the trigger again he's dead so this business about 200 and something rounds per minute i would call that something that comes from a bull there's a double kill we both got killed by the proximity mine so if i'm going to be completely honest i can't tell a lot of difference because flinching doesn't matter that much unless they increase flinch on your part unless somebody gets that first shot on you and that time he got the first shot on me and I was still able to get the head shot and there he got the first shot on me and I missed completely this is a tight crowd here the race is tight really all I'm doing is testing the jack outlaw so you don't have to because <laughs> one two three four five six six shots to kill the guy and one of them was a hit marker and of course anytime you take six shots and free for all single shots you're a dead man another hit marker there it got to the point where if i was following somebody and i got a hit marker i was fine in fact i, sh I shot for their center of mass because I knew I'd get a follow-up shot unless somebody gacked me from behind, which is entirely possible. And there comes Tree Man again. And second place is the first loser. But I was surprised that this gun did so well, so I went ahead and took it to Shoot House. There was a hit marker and a kill, and as long as you can hit, put the second one on there, oh, what is that guy doing? He's hunting Easter eggs. There's no Easter bunny on this map, though, so he may be disappointed. There's a hit marker and a kill. 
I don't know what he was looking at or looking beyond me. People overlook me sometimes. Oops, there's a miss and a hit. There's an upper body hit marker. It looked like almost two hit markers there. So in the rechambering time, even Easter egg hunters are gonna gonna gack you. The person knew I was there, but the bullet velocity already aimed down sight. This gun will will do wonders. I'm used to somebody sitting over there in the corner. Stealthily moving around the corner and I got a mosquito. Maybe it'll do some work for me check upstairs For the penthouse crowd nobody there And I send off the mosquito to go buzzing around Hopefully falling on somebody's head. Oh Oh, there's a nice little corner Oops miss miss hit marker and then a headshot. So even at point-blank Whoa, Big Chief RPG, and he killed himself, I got credit for it. There's the lady that likes the corners. Another hit marker. Like I said, when I was behind him, I was happy that person must have already had some damage. There's a hit marker and a crossfire. Oh, Big Chief R RPG. Sound, it felt like somebody was trying to melee me. Looks like they were successful. So I'm, I'm up by seven, which is an absolute shock here. Because like I said, all I'm doing is testing the nerf Jack Outlaw. And if I... Under the old Jack Outlaw, that would have been a double kill for me. Because I hit the lady in the upper body, which sounds kind of bad. Big Chief RPG. That would have been a one-shot kill. But instead, I only get one. Things were cruising pretty nice on this free-for-all. And then Big Chief RPG started doing some work. And things got dicey. There we go. Just hit the center of mass. Only I'm allowed proximity mines. Center of mass. <laughs> center of mass and there's a headshot hit marker it looked like a headshot surely it wasn't or the person would have died but I hit the, I hit him pretty high her yeah that that doesn't sound genuinely big chief RPG is a one-shot kill in the head big chief and I'm still up by seven with only five to go I mean I was absolutely amazed and that guy must have already had some damage done. Only four shots. And then all of a sudden, somebody, Big Chief RPG, starts doing work. Hit marker doesn't help. Some overall thoughts on this weapon. Our Big Chief RPG just gacked me. Derezzed me. All my molecules are heaven knows where. My overall thought is not really changed a lot. I w would think this is a niche weapon to start with. It's like you don't wear your Rudolph the Reindeer tie to a board meeting, the one with the blinking red nose, battery powered. You don't wear a Santa Claus hat in July. So really really niche for the right opportunity which is just to play with because you're not going to compete with it anyway thanks for watching please like and subscribe i cheesed the last kill and i won peace cheers